Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a very expensive lipsticks. I'm going to give you a couple reasons why I like it and a few things that I don't like about it. So let's jump right on into this. So the details on the Tom Ford website read, Tom Ford Lip Color Matte creates a powerfully sophisticated look of unadulterated color. Formulated with a luxurious velvet matte finish, the lip color smooths comfortably onto the lips in a spectrum of richly pigmented hues. Wow. These retail for $52 a pop. The packaging is gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. It's black and gold. It looks luxurious. It feels luxurious. It is luxurious. There is an imprint up at the top, TF, and when you get your new lipstick, there will be a TF actually imprinted on the lipstick itself. It's very sad once you use your lipstick, enough so that that TF just disappears completely, but life goes on, people. It goes on. This is called Pussycat 04. I'm not sure if it's limited edition, if it's still available. I will leave a link down below in my description box, so definitely check that out. But it is the most beautiful, light, pinky, purpley nude tone. There's so many different hues of color in this particular shade. And this, for me, is my perfect nude kind of color because it makes my lips look so much plumper and fuller. And the way that they formulated the actual lipstick, it applies like a dream. So however they geometrically formulated the actual lipstick is incredible. Um, there is a lot of pigmentation with this lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. Pigmentation is a huge thing. I love pigmentation. I want full coverage lipsticks. If I'm wearing a lipstick, I don't want sheer crap. I want full coverage and this is full coverage. We all know we love the scent of MAC lipsticks. There's just something weirdly alluring about that scent. Same thing goes for these. They smell in freaking incredible. I just want more of these. I want them on my lips. I want to smell the shade. It's weird, but I like it. Because it's so creamy, you would think that it would come off your lips so quickly, but it stays on for hours and hours and hours. And I do a lot of eating. I do a lot of drinking. Homegirl needs her beers and margaritas and mimosas and all that. Now, when we go to the cons, the only con that I can honestly see to buying this lipstick is the excruciatingly expensive cost of it. $52, I could buy the entire Maybelline lipstick line for $52. Okay, maybe I can't, I can only probably buy like six or seven, but you get what I'm saying. It's a lot of money for a lipstick. People spend $52 on groceries, $52 on a purse, $52 on a pair of jeans, but some of us like to spend our money on lipstick. And so it's not everyone's preference, but I just wanna tell you that I think this is no mistake. This is an incredible lipstick, absolutely incredible. If you're looking for that luxurious lipstick, something creamy, something pigmented, something full cover, something long lasting, something that smells good, it's all in there. And I would highly recommend this but like I said, it is $52, so make your own assumptions, make your own decisions. It is your money and you could spend it anywhere. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did and you wanna see more of these expensive reviews, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below letting me know you like this type of video. I wanna know if you've tried a Tom Ford lipstick. Do you own one? Do you own a few? Are you lusting after one? Let me know what your thoughts are about these Tom Ford luxurious lipsticks. Have you tried a lipstick that is even more than $52 per tube? Let me know down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I build my love like a castle in the sun.